Hey guys, my name is Rayanne and I am so humbled to be a part of Dimitri's new how-to series. I'm a published poet, writer, model, and content curator. I've probably been writing poetry since I was seven years old and since then it's always been my personal outlet, my method of allowing my emotions and my thoughts to flow. So in this video, I want to share with you all some of my poetry from my new book, Cosmic Conversations, and express how to feel connected in your oneness with the universe. So recently, the theme of my life has really just been reflecting on the space that I occupy and what it means to be alive and how, to, how I relate to the world around me. I feel like we often in our lives get so caught up in the day to day and we don't get a chance to really be aware of ourselves and what it actually means to be alive. What it means to me individually and I think also what it means to us as a society is so important and I find that self-reflection has been crucial in my personal growth as well. I'd like to start by sharing a few poems with you all um, in the hopes of sharing this universal energy together um, and really allow us to expand our perspectives and contemplate. So the first poem I'll be reading from my new book, Cosmic Conversations, is actually the first poem in the book. It's titled, I. I, the center of mass that holds together all of these thoughts, the friction between each beat pumped through my arteries, flowing softly onto my fingertips, creating presence amongst the present in action non-reactive. I, the body that holds this life together, connected from limb to limb, exhausting words into the air as I breathe them across my mind, exhaled from my soul into the universe dancing amongst the drums of this soil. I, the vehicle that steers existence into actualization determined by will, interlaced with destiny, answering and obeying gravity and her whims, keeping the balance while maintaining a free flow of energy reflected into the space plane. I, the base of my universe, the poet of this orchestra that dictates the melody of the words that moves my days from hours into time undefined and endless, the sole soul of the space occupied in a world at rhythm with me where I rise. So I wrote this poem when I was feeling kind of almost like an outer body experience. I was confused as to what part I played in the grand scheme of things and really just trying to be aware that the only life that I could live was mine. Like the only thing that I could comprehend in terms of emotions and feelings were mine and the only mind I could control was mine. And that almost made me feel eternal as if the universe was around me, connected, and we were one. The next poem I'd like to share is called Cosmic Conversations. Now this is actually the poem that sparked this poetry compilation and as soon as I wrote it I knew this poem was going to start my publishing journey to be an author. So this is it um, and let's go ahead and get right into it. Cosmic noise released from the sheet of stars, above me and around, surrounded by sounds I can't understand. Translated to the language of pain, talking in my ear at a pitch I can't comprehend. Swirls of black encompass my vision till I'm staring in the mirror of outer space. Mercury collides and I am given life, a split heart and a split mind. Constant conversation, internal negotiations, everyday debates with a different face. Calm before the storm, whispered into the ear. Calm before the storm, whispered into the air, floating towards an earthly energy, empty and free. Painting my constellation into the memory of the universe, outlined by thoughts engraved in my mother tongue. 
the mind speaks at speeds unthinkable. Can't fathom loneliness in my head, can't fathom wholesomeness in my hands. Moving and spinning, twirling and dancing by my breath's motion, external command, guided by my own hands. Cosmic noise speak to me quickly and thoroughly. Tell me about the world and all who inhibit it. Tell me about the creatures that occupy the same space and time. Pull me through the vortex and show me how to stop the moments. Let go of my hand, watch me fall against all that I stood for. So to bring, th to bring things full circle, I'd like to end on an inquisitive note. Regardless of what you're going through in your life right now, and I find it imperative to ask questions about life, everything that we experience, everything that we go through, and really just figure out what it is that we're doing on an everyday basis from the mundane, from the automated parts of our life, from the free spirit of creative parts and the art that we experience, asking questions to everything that we do and how we do it in order to find a deeper meaning behind what we do and why we do it. So this next poem is called Questions to the Universe. When consciousness comes knocking, who is it that answers? Is it you? or the memory of who you used to be. When reality reflects itself on your space mirror, who do you see? What does it all reveal? Can you breathe when it takes over your skin, alienates your illumination over the sun and stars? Do you know how to feel when he comes down on you hard, like stone against concrete amidst the flower that grows? How do you know what consciousness is? Are you indifferent? Have you ever really felt it? Let's pretend it's real. Your perception isn't damnation, but wholly earthly, unholy, and complete. What if this was it? All that you've imagined is just your imagination and the two-dimensional collapses further from the truth. How do you deal with knowing that you occupy two spaces at the same time all that you've lived could be a lie? And when consciousness breaks down your doors, what will you start living for? I hope my poetry inspires you to seek your own connection with the universe and start your own cosmic conversations. You can find my poetry book um, on Amazon. It is available worldwide, so you can order it from wherever you are. Um, and hopefully it'll reach you in the comfort of your home and you can enjoy my cosmic thoughts. Please like and share this video. Let's spread this cosmic energy with one another, with everyone who needs it. I would be elated if you followed me on Instagram as well. I put my handle in the description. Thank you for joining me on this journey, sending you love and light.